after this big dog hits you. All you see is cat's bodies taking the stairway to heaven to the upper room with Jesus. Welcome to Coach A's Football. W-R-P edition. Are you ready? Let, 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 let's get it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Coach A's Football, the WRE edition class of 22. This is the channel where we watch, react, and evaluate to the top talent in the nation. Before we get started on today's young man, check me out at CoachAceFootball.com. It is the number one site for players, coaches, and fans, as well as do me another quick favor. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you have all the latest content that comes out on this channel. Now, let's check out the man of the hour, see what his measurable is talking about. Let's see what decisions he has to make. Okay, today we're talking about Jack Pyburn. He is a three-star court in 247 Sports, 255 pounds, stands six foot three. He goes to the Bowl School in Jacksonville, Florida. Now, here's what's interesting about this guy, right? The Miami fan base and the Auburn fan base, which are his top two that he's dropped right now, and he's committing on January 27th at 12 p.m., Everybody's going nuts about this guy, right? I have to be honest. I have not watched this film. So when I pull up his 247 profile, I'm like, mm, all right, what's the big deal? You know, I'm not a big star guy, but like I said, it's not a lot of write-ups on him, not a lot of things going. So I'm interested to see what this film looks like. But as we said, he was committed to Minnesota, decommitted, and then dropped his top two to Miami and Auburn. And these two fan bases are going nuts to find out where he's going to be headed. So let's go ahead and jump into this young man measurables and see what he's talking about. So, Mr. Jack Pyburn, you about to get WRE, my man. But will it be Hurricane style or will it be Tiger style? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and jump into this film. Let's see what number 44 is talking about. Also, I did read something that Dan Morgan, number 44, the linebacker for the Miami Hurricanes, endorsed this young man. So that's huge right there. That might be saying something. Did he lean him to the U? Huh? 109 tackles, 15 sacks, 32 TFLs. My God. Let's go, baby. Oh, get some. That's how you start your highlight tape off. Getting some. Let's go. Come on, Fofo. Skate. Uh. That's how you jump in his jersey with him, baby. Let's go, Fofo. They got him listed as going in as a D-line. He's playing a little Mike linebacker right here. Uh. Listen, walk Timmy all the way back. This is how you walk the dog right here, baby. Watch this. Walk him back and come off and come make the tackle. I love the aggression. I love the aggression. Great angle. Here's what a lot of people miss. Watch where he tackles this guy. He aims for the back shoulder right here. And so that way, this is what happens. Great job. So this quarterback cannot spin out of this. He has to step forward and he walks into this guy. Hopefully one of these guys will come around or this linebacker. But once he gets out here, now it puts the DBs in a lot of strain and stress because they got to cover longer. Great job. Let's go. Pick it up. I ski. <laughs> Pick six, baby. Pick it up. Scoop and score. What I'm talking about. Coach, I'm all over the place. Walking him back. Fall inside. He's got great instinct now. I have to say he's got great instinct. Thank you, Bowles, for these camera angles. Great job. Go get him. Go get him. That's how you track a guy down backside, man. Straight speed. If they don't want to block you, take advantage of it. Go get him. Mm. Yes, sir. Down the line, tear up that guard. Mm. Get some. Create nothing but a havoc, right? What we call it, hey, just blow the whole play up. Like I said, you don't have to make the tackle to make the play. I love his I love his speed, right? You can tell he's playing off a lot of just uh natural instinct. That's a great thing, right? Not a big fan of that one, right? No hands on there. You just kind of power through. Watch your body. Boom. Technically, he wins this battle right now, okay? But I guarantee you much stronger than he is. He couldn't just hold up to it. Got to know how to use these hands. But I love the, the tenacity. I love to fight for it. Come on. Skeet! Yes, sir! Coach Hayes love the hits, baby. 
Mm. It's like Punisher dude right there, boy. Loving it. Yeah, again, coming off playing a little bit high, right? And not using your hands. You think you could just power through a lot of these guys. Okay, look at this. Uh, technically speaking, he's up under you. He wins this battle, okay? At Division One programs, he wins this battle. He got his crown and his helmet all up in your chin strap. But because you have the fight in you, right? You can fight through that stuff. You end up winning this battle. But you got to be able to three-point that guy right here, press him off of you, and get rid of him, okay? That's the only thing I'm really seeing right now. Hands at impact. See how you just power through that guy? But that relentless pursuit to the ball carrier is what's killer. Again, a little high, you gotta play off. And a lot of this change too if you, when you put your hand in the dirt. This is instinct right here. This is instinct. Let me explain this angle to y'all right now. Watch this. He's going to see this, but watch the angle he turns in on. Uh, right there. Understanding angles will help you get a lot of tackles in this game, boy. Great job, man. And you it's hard to teach that. Scrape, scrape, finishing. Let's go wrap him up, fofo. He just got a blue collar approach to this game, man. Just hard nose. Let's go. You know, pain is secondary. Uh-oh. Hold on, Jack. Hold on, Jack. Now, I know you, you know, you're playing linebacker, so I'm going to critique this, but I know you're going to play defensive end, but I just want to critique this in case any linebackers are looking. Here's the deal, right? A little flat. You got to remember, see this guy coming? You got to be able to find these type of dudes and understand route concepts. Again, I know you're going to play defensive end, but again, there's some linebackers out here watching this, okay? He's going to sneak right behind you. I see it already. You start to try to gain some depth, but you got to be able to find that guy. He's your immediate threat. You got more people back here. And they come up, mm, finish him off. That's what we're talking about. Good patience right there. See how you used your hands on that one? That was great. Use your hands, get those guys off you. Don't take the punishment. Give the punishment to those ball carriers. Got a good nose for dissecting stuff. Go get him, baby. Good speed right here. I'm telling you. Best thing you could ever did is say, I'm finna go play defensive end, coach. You might be a $100 million dude. Trust me. I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, see right here, same thing. Again, coming from depth, you just run up. Right here, that dude got up under your chin, knocked your head back a little bit, okay? Got to be able to play lower, fire off, and use your hands to get these dudes off you. But I can't wait to see. I want to see what, what you look like when you put your hand in the dirt. Ooh, it might be nasty. There you go. There you go. Correct yourself. Good job. I'm telling you, man, he's a problem, boy. He is a problem. Great job right there. Let's get into the pros and cons of your game. All right, Jack, let's jump straight into it. Pros, man. You have the size. You have the uh, strength. Definitely have the strength, okay? And you also have the uh, tenacity and the, the willingness and the want to to play that position, right? A lot of things need to have some work on it, but trust me, you got all the tools you need to be a outstanding and elite defensive end, all right? Here go my only cons. I have two. One, 
the hands. You got to be able to use your hands on impact. Keep those big uglies up off of you. Get separation and snatch them and get rid of those guys so you can get to the thing. The next thing is, I saw a little bit of this on tackling. I didn't say much. A lot of times you throw the shoulder into them. You got to wrap these dudes up, trust me, because these running backs and these guys can take that hit. They bounce off of that and keep going. Wrap these guys up. You do a pretty good job with tackling, but sometimes you want to just, I know, I get it. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't mad at you, but now you're going to the next level, you got to secure the tackle. So with all that being said, if you are a Miami fan, let me get a Go Canes. If you're an Auburn fan, let me get a War Damn Eagle. While you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you have all the latest content that comes out on this channel. And we'll be watching on January 27th at 12 p.m. to find out what you're going to be, Jack. And with all that being said, Coach Hazel catch you at the 50-yard line. Peace.